G'day guys and welcome to the Vema Trader tutorial series. Today I'm going to be running you through how to set up your API key so that you can live trade through Vema. So when you first join Vema and go through the onboarding process, you get taken to the dashboard. To add your API keys, you want to come to My Account. So in the top right corner, click My Account, hit API keys, and then you can see you can pick your exchange. So we'll start with FTX. When you go to FTX, you want to do the same thing. You want to click My Account, which is the big blue button up the top. It'll say, you know, whatever email you've used. So head to that, then you want to go to sub accounts, manage sub accounts. Now the important step here is make sure you're on the right sub account that you're setting up the API keys for. So you can see I'm on test because that's the one that's highlighted blue. I'm going to switch to Vema Trader. You can also see it just here. So you can either tick that one or do it up there. Then head to API. So I want to create the API key for Vema Trader. Then I copy that, paste it into Vema, copy the secret key and paste that into Vema. And this is really important. You want to make sure that the name, the sub account name, matches exactly the API key. So I like to do that by copying from the from the FTX site because that way I know it's exactly what I'm looking for. Then I can simply add the key, and you can see I've successfully added the FTX API keys there. To do the same on Bitmax, you come to my account, which is again in the top right. Go directly to API keys. I was already on it, so that's why that screen hasn't changed. Then you just hit Create API key. You can see I've got my ID down here, so I copy that. Go back to Vema and put that, we need to select Bitmax here, put that in the API key. Then select the secret, copy that, put that in the key secret. And then the account name is just going to be Bitmax Vema account. Add that key. And now I can successfully trade on both FTX and Bitmax using those API keys. So that's it for this video guys. I'll see you guys in the next video for the start charting screen.